in five, four, three, two. Welcome to Show. Jokes and songs for everyone. So join us, y'all. Let's have some fun. Right now. Right now, over 30 of them are getting together to tape a season of Nashville's answer to citified humor. For 11 years, Hee Haw has gathered a variety of country and western professionals to tickle the funny bone of the nation. The show's producer admits it's a direct ripoff of the old Laugh-In series. But Sam Lovello knows he's had a better product that has consistently been a winner. Hee Haw is really the Grand Ole Opry of television. And if you've ever been to the Grand Ole Opry, what we have in fact done is to take the comedy, the storytelling, all the goodies that take place backstage while the performer's singing his or her song, and we have merely brought it out in front of the cameras and restaged it. And occasionally we just intercut our good old comedy bits with uh, good country music. The shows for the season are shot twice a year at a Nashville TV station. The studios are cramped, but that just serves to make everything and everybody come a little closer together. The day we visited, everybody was in the cornfield. Missy, have you ever taken a milk bath? Would you believe I have the same problem? Okay, good one. We are here four or five weeks for 13 shows, and we're able to shoot uh, within 20 days 13 shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been as high as uh, 21 hour, I'm sorry, it's been as high as 20 miles of tape if you were to take tape and assemble it. Um, at the end of the day, all the jokes as shot go, go to the computer house and they're collated. That's just about the extent of it. And the very next morning I get a uh, readout and I'm able to determine the number of cornfield jokes as shot in relation to a Buck and Roy or a Buck and a Lulu or Roy and uh, a George Lindsay. And we are also able to determine the length of time it took mm -hmm. to shoot 170 or 180 cornfields. Uh, today I think we're shooting 120 cornfields. Put Gary, put two of the girls behind okay, it. Doesn't matter where we stand for the line. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. You better it's okay, audio. <laughs> You don't have to be country born to be a guest on Hee Haw. Maybe just country at heart, like Days of Our Lives heartthrob Jed Allen. Also, yours truly got an opportunity to visit Cornfield County and its premier country hams, Buck Owens and Roy Clark. Now, if you think doing comedy is easy. Ah, uh, what was that? Oh, he gave us a. Yeah, I saw that. What would be the law against that? Hey, Buck, uh -oh. look who I got here. Who? Janet Davies. Ooh. Janet Davies. Wow, well, from Cincinnati. Davies. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Her name is Janet Davies. <laughs> Sit. I think you better try it again. <laughs> hey, Buck, what? look who I got. Who? Janet Davies. Janet Davies. Oh, from Cincinnati, Ohio. That's from uh, From TV station WKRC. Yeah. Hmm. I'll bet I know what you're doing here. Why, well, you come down to Cornfield County to learn up on all the latest fashions so you can take all the new styles back to big city with you. Yeah, <laughs> look at Buck's outfit. Yeah. He bought that in Paris. Oh, really? <laughs> Did he swim back in it? As in any television production, it's always hurry up and wait. And during takes, the cast finds many varied ways of releasing tension or banishing boredom. Sissy break. I don't know what it means. What are you talking about? What's Everything. sissy break? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was it me? Go wet. 
we go to the bathroom. Oh, that's a sissy break. You about to wee wee? Yeah. You have some time to wee wee. Yeah. Wee. We're, we're on the air. Is that joke? Is show business a tough life for you? Yeah, it is for me. Why? Well, they make it rough on me. Everybody want my autograph. And all the girls want to kiss me after you snuff to keep them off of me. So it just okay, got me all right, shook up, you know. I know. Fire pit, cut! I refuse to work with him. He lies at me. But if we go the direction that country music is now going, I venture to say that hee haw will last another few years. But if we go back to what country music was all about, bluegrass music gospel. and gospel music, hee haw will probably go on forever. And Buck and Roy will, by that time, have pot bellies that we can go on forever. As long as they want to work, I'll work along with them. So long, everybody. We'll see you next week on Hee Haw!